Gold Figure TV. Houston ain't big enough. The series continue. The flip. Kidnapped. Extorted. Shook down. Man. Be sure to wipe your feet. That means hit the like button. You in the house of revolution. It's individual. These are the detailed events of what took place before. Salute and shout out to my bro, 504 Street Stories Unplugged. The boy dropped a nuclear bomb into the community yesterday when he released this story. Now, I did my due diligence. Y'all know that. Y'all know I sent uh, messages and phone calls all out to several different sources to confirm this. And then I even seen one video. This It's a video on another channel that was out. Talking about this now with all the details about this story. I say, hmm. But when I talk to a lot of people in the city, they say, yeah, why? They tried to keep a lid on this one. Or during and after the kidnapping and extortion of Lil Flip. To understand what makes this gang so ruthless on the streets of Miami, it's important to understand where they've come from. In 2003, Ali booked the services of Lil Flip through his business. First of all, let me start this off. I did a live on these uh, Blackface Ku Klux Klan members last night. Let me start off by salute the Haitian revolutionaries. The real Haitians, huh? Not the Blackface phonies who do the work of massa. Who come over here and sell coke and drugs and gun run and commit crimes so the prison stay populated. All oh, for the other man to bring down the brother man. Not the fake Haitians who would never go back to Haiti and have some of that old time Viva La resistance. No, they don't want to stand up straight for their country. They too busy killing, stealing, and dealing here. They not cut from the cloth of Toussaint. Bookman duty, Bookman duty. Over tour. They not cut from that cloth. Nah, they cut from the cloth. Of the black face Ku Klux Klan, who is an enemy of our goddamn people. So, this story I'm, it, it is being told, it, 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 it really pissed me off. I didn't like what happened to Flip. You know, like I say, man, sometimes you you really gotta be cautious about what you're doing. We're gonna get in there and how you doing it. And your big head and your arrogance made them pay this time. But I didn't like how the industry, I played that last night. We, we talk about B1. Why the fuck did all our Black Americans, if you want to call them that. African Americans, indigenous Americans, whatever you want to call our brothers who come from the descendants of slaves right here in that music industry got shook down by informants like Jimmy Henchman and Haitian Jack. Jimmy Henchman was all over this story, all over having to Wayne them, all over having to Tupac, all over having to 50 Cent, all over what was going on with the Haitians in general, shaking down the goddamn industry. I'm trying to wonder why them brothers let them phonies get away with that and didn't apply real pressure. I never know. But I got to remember why. They not built like you, bro. They only want to oppress our people. They don't want to do no stepping on nobody. In the Flip was never supposed to be allowed to be done like this. But when the extortion plot, plot get hatched, some people decide to take their piece. Some people do the protection racket. I got you, man. Look at a hole up. Business partner and promoter Delroy. After thousands of dollars were invested into promoting and marketing for the Lil Flip show, out of nowhere, Flip's people would cancel. What was the reason for Flip's cancellation, you may ask? Rumor has it that Flip claimed to be sick and unable to perform. Nah. So what we have here, some ha the Haitian gangsters, Zopound, paid Flip 20 bands. Uh, 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 front end. Now, I already spoke on this front end. Rappers run off with the front end. I got a Houston name big enough Slim Thug story. We had to iron out because he ran off with the front end on the show that Pope and with us down there in Crowley. ESG wound up uh, showing up, but the people in Crowley was pissed. And it was some, it was a misunderstanding between me and Slim that got ironed out. But it just like this, but on a large scale, Flip ran off with 20 bands. It, Slim ran off with what about two or oh, fifteen hundred or something. The front end, he did. He said, "Forget the back end. This is a common thing in the industry." I told y'all that. But we're trying to pull this on some gangsters. You got to be stupid if you're not built like that. You money hungry. You arrogant. You think you can get away with anything to try this? That goes to show me it wasn't no real around them. They do. He had been separated from anything real, and that's how 
he got set up like this. I wouldn't be surprised if the play started with even booking the show. Going to the Zoes to book the show, letting them know, hey, look, we're going to get about 100. I'm talking about the people next to him. Remember, let's say flip people or whoever say they got the twin in this, they climbed to come to the show. What? Y'all weren't ever going to do that show? What? And then immediately, when niggas start beating their chest like, hey, oh, oh, I'll pay you 20 and give you an extra two. Knowing it's only what's going to go through the roof. This was all after the 20K front end had already been paid to flip. But what did flip do? Oh, man, I feel sick. I'm not feeling well. And skip off with them people money. So everybody always making excuses for, oh, I guess they, they hate it. They hate Flip's success. They hate Flip playing the rapper. They mad because Flip is the left. Uh, you see, y'all make excuses. I see, when y'all all the excuses y'all got, y'all probably got some badass kids probably make excuses for everything goddamn thing they do. You see? We heard this story before, but nobody paid attention. People brushed it off. We talking about the story of Lil Flip saying, Oh, my stomach hurt. I can't make it to the show. What the hell are you talking about? Y'all mean a revolution, Cuffield? Well, this is what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm just not getting ready to hit the Atlantis, and I'm getting ready to go into the Virginias and the Carolinas. Trip, you play sick on us after we got off that stage. This story ain't gonna never change. Where? In Atlanta. You played sick on us. And your daddy, daddy, to be honest, honest with you, let me let me rephrase that. Flip, did, flip, you didn't play sick. Your daddy called me and asked me, hey, hey, how y'all doing, man? How was the show? Well, the show was good, man. We in the hotel. We just got off the stage, man. Everybody good. We got security around. Okay, how Flip doing, man? He doing good here in front of me. He doing what he know him to do. Got his partners with him. Got his, got his bags with him, doing his thing. You know, he going on to his room. Wish you tell me, your son called you and been complaining about his stomach. Hmm. So I said, his stomach hurt. Phil called his daddy. He said, his stomach hurt. I got to get off this tour. He stay sick. Pump it out and had a bunch of shows lined up. Bunch of front ends had already been got. And Flip, you had already got your piece of that front end. Hump was not keeping the front end. People say, why the hell you know? Because me and Bullet did business with him. I know how the front end business went with Sucker Free and Lil Flip and Hump. At this time, at this, I know how the front end business went with him. I spot, come on, man. So Flip, oh, I'm sick. I can't make it to a couple of these shows. Damn, bro. You the hell out of that? Cool. Flip, you duck off. And go book some more shows in Florida. Hump said that. In Florida. Flip, who took you to Florida? Who told you Florida was going to be a good market? Is that where your ass got alley oop to the Zoe Pound? And extortion plot was in from now. Who told you it was a good idea to run off with 20 bands from the Zoe Pound, Flip? But a lot of people thought that Hump was lying. Hump said, man, man, he's talking about he's sick. And wasn't sick and going to do other things. Run off with the bag. Wrong from the plug, the promoter. Now here we have it in the the young documentary that 504 Street Stores Unplugged just dropped yesterday. That's exactly what the Zoes and the people are saying Flip did to them. Got they 20 bands. Then they promote a big show, get everything worked up. Flip coming to town. He called back, I ain't going to be able to make it. They said, what about my money? Oh, I don't like your attitude. Go watch the video for yourself. We keeping it. Uh, what type of cartoon is this, nigga? So they had to apply pressure. Kidnap. Now, y'all go watch the video about yourself. Because I'm talking about this part. Details people was missing about Flip playing sick. So, was it Hump who made Flip play sick? On the Zoes to have them kidnap him, put him in the trunk, threaten to kill him and his people, have angry guard dogs on him. For to bite his face off. Have to call J. Prince to asylum. I say that's kind of crazy. Flip, who took you to asylum? I know I had read a magazine where I locked up that J. Prince had a bunch of pool at asylum. Flip, is that how you landed at asylum? And was, I want y'all to tell me, was Flip ever, was Rap Lot ever Lil Flip manager? But they reached out to J., the, the uh, Zoe Pound. And J. reached out to you, Flip, and say, Flip, go on, pay. Go and pay him the money, Flip. 
You call them, I got 20,000 and two extra. They say, hell no, nah, nigga, it's 100 now, nigga. You understand me? Point right now. Flip agree to pay. How did it go from 20 to 100? Well, when you watch two separate videos, you find out Jimmy Henchman and Jay Prince stepped in. You think big bosses like that going to step in and they don't have a convenience fee? Just the, everybody got a convenience fee. Only person don't know about that convenience fee was Lil Flip. What he didn't know was he never was going to die. They never was going to kill him. It's like they never was going to kill Lil Wayne. They never going to kill Baby. They won't kill none of them rappers. You worth, you worth more alive than dead, nigga. But one thing I, I find it very, very strange is Jimmy Henchman was always sitting at the top of the totem pole ready to put up the kibosh on anybody not paying the Haitian informants. You know? Philip, you should ask yourself, brother. They say they reached out to Jay. When they reached out to Jay, bro, you had to pay 100000 It just was twenty before they called Jay. I'm not saying Jay had anything to do with it. But I'm saying, what was Jay going to do, brother? He didn't. He, you had to pay more. And you still was kidnapped and all that type of dirty shit. You don't even know, do you, Flip? Have, have it sunk into you yet? Now, what people got to realize is, sometimes, like I said, they'll separate you from your beginning with Hump where you were safe and they get to whispering oh man he eating all the money I'm hearing Hump was getting money for him way before any rap that's the truth you have to steal nothing from no rappers that's facts you know but a lot of money start getting put on the table a lot of people like to speak on Hump money they ain't never even seen that type of money they, oh man Hump broke ah nigga he ain't your type of broke do you feel me but uh he flip was protected with Hump. Like I said, I've been on the road with them. We went through some grimy cities, some dangerous places, up and down that highway, all out to Pensacola, Florida. And Hump was protecting us as the OG. Now, I was a young guy. Hump was the OG. We all was nobody. We never got kidnapped. No person got stuck in our face. Nobody done nothing to us, man. Hump was looking out for us. And we was on guard. But somebody had to separate Flip from that type of protection. Get him into a situation where he can get thrown in a trunk and guard dogs. Arr, arr, and he can get shook down for a hundred bands. But so, so people wouldn't tell him it's bad ideas. It's a bad idea, fam, to try to cuff money for gangsters and play sick. You done it with Hump. He loved you. So he didn't want to put you in the trunk. He didn't want to let the dogs... Like the Zopound did to you. You done it with Hump? Well, I'm sick. I got to go. But we can take all this front in. So Hump got to eat that. Get all of the uh, 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 backlash. That, Come on, what, what, flip. He smoothed it out with the promoters. And I'm asking any promoter, if you could tell me Hump messed over you and kept your money, he was bad business, I'll, I'll, I'll run the story. Because now we have a story. Now I'll tell you, that's why it's good to have outside information coming. Now we have outside people saying, whoa, Flip early in the career. 2004. Damn, bro. So you start, I want to be on my own. I'm my own, man. You get kidnapped and you get extorted, thrown in a trunk. Your, your decision making was so bad, you would think that you could take from Zopound. I'm, I'm, I'm down with rap a lot. Yeah, Jay Prince told you to pay immediately after him and Jimmy Henchman got on the phone. I say I, I definitely don't like what happened to Flip. You know, the righteous revolutionaries got to be able to protect these B1 brothers from this type of uh, immigrant extortion racket. That's serious. Talk. It's probably revolutionary war. I don't like them uh, hip hop clowns at times, but I'll be damned if they get shook down and extorted by guests here. You niggas is guests in our house called America, bro. But that's why I know, like, damn, why them niggas, you think, I'm like, who, niggas who I thought was bosses, they not made like me. I just ain't got the paper right, nigga. I would never go for it, nigga. Are you kidding me? And like I say, we don't give a damn about them flunkies, nigga. The names they name, it'd be hell in a cell, morning, noon, and night. No prison would be safe for anybody that's extorting B1. But Flip didn't get that type of protection. He had to pay the illegal immigrant uh, kidnappers, the blackface, boule. 
Fake Haitians, could the real Haitians stand on business for Haiti? Now a revolutionary ride with them morning, noon, and night. So I got so I like when the Haitians are called out, the black faced Ku Klux Klan gang members say, nah, they not the real B1. They not the revolutionary ilk of Malcolm, Martin, Huey P, Fred Hampton, you know, Fred Hampton. You know, no, 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 they not. So Flip start getting with people who had his decision making so messed up. And I would think that today it's still cloudy. Because people stated Hump didn't try to eat off him. Hump ate with him. Everybody else been trying to eat off him. What the fuck they bring to the table? Like this administrator. I can show you how to find you and Hump money. Oh, really, ma'am? What you bring to the table? Well, Hump got millions up there. We just need him. Damn, ma'am, that's what you found? Hump's a thief. Oh, really? Who ran off with that 20 bands from the Zopine? Was that Hump? Did Hump get a piece? Uh, Phil, I will run your story if you tell me. Man, cook. Hump kept half, I kept half, man. Then he let me get kidnapped, man. I'm finally telling the truth. Or oh, the truth that flip, what Hump said was true. You pretend like you got headaches messing off good business with people and it finally caught up with you. You got kidnapped and got extorted and there was no help for you. Houston, I ain't big enough. You got shot. You got broke down. See, this didn't have to happen to you, Flip. Do you understand all of this? Bad luck and karma. Nobody pay attention. Came after you bit the hand that fed you. Everybody in the hood know that's what I'm saying. You don't never bite the hand that feeds you, man. My big mom and papa used to say that. I don't fed you. You bit him. And then you cheerleaded his downfall. You know, not knowing, bro, you chill eating your, your own downfall because you done took a hedge of protection from around you that Hump had over you. What if, I'm going to bring this up. When you was kidnapped by the Zopound, why you, you, did you get in touch with Botany? Did you get in touch with Botany? Hmm? You ain't get in touch with your Clover G's? To look, go let the Zopound know you ain't going, you ain't going like that. Hell no, nah, bro. You didn't. You, they talked to Jay Prince. That means you don't even have a boss in your hood they can talk to. They gotta talk to Jay. That's a that's a rap CEO, bro. Who used to have he got street ties, but that's a rap CEO, bro. This story is very telling. It's why some of these youngsters need to don't just do your music. Don't ever stick your pinky toe in their waters with gangsters, man. I've been trying to what about listen to me. Trying to get good knowledge. Oh, you hate you, man. You don't know me, nigga. Y'all mean a revolution. You didn't have a boss, Flip. Hey, you see, no disrespect, but they called other people. They felt like you was irrelevant. Your life was in the hands of someone else. Remember that, Flip. It's a very fucked up feeling. To know Jay could have cast you out at any time. He told him, don't kill you, bro. But he told you, pay them people that money. And allowed them to do the collecting by any means necessary. Houston ain't big enough. I wish people would pay attention to the separation of Hump and Flip. Now we can see what's purposely done. Hump keeps saying, West, Big West, Big West. That's Flip Daddy. The stepping in, all oh, Flip sick and all. I hear Big West had just got out of prison. Ooh, we boy. I know he felt like, oh man, I could be Hump. I could take my son on the road. Your son got kidnapped in big ways. You did nothing. Your son got extorted and they called Jay Prince. They didn't call Big West. You separated your son from Hunt and he went through more hell than he could ever imagine. But he got a safe face so he just come out and talk about Hump instead of saying, hey man, when I left Hump, man, I went through more shit than I ever thought I ever dreamed. It wasn't a great platinum career after hump you know y'all see all the glitz and gl glamour now y'all see the man was kidnapped finna lose his life and they had to call jay prince not screwed up click not cloverland the rap boss on the fifth ward houston ain't big enough the series continue call follow me